Scotland's native woodlands are simply defined as those where over half of the dominant tree species are naturally occurring here in Scotland and haven't been introduced by man. Now, different trees grow under different environmental conditions, so experts have divided Scotland's native woodlands into six different types. In this short film, we're going to be looking more closely at native pine woods. A native pine wood is a, a forest, a forest in, the, in Scotland dominated by Scots pine. Uh, there's birch, alder, aspen, all, all sorts of other tree species as well, but pine is the dominant one. Over 4,000 years ago, the pine forests retreated as the climate became cool and wet, with Scots pine being replaced naturally by peatland in the wetter areas and broadleaf forest on the better soils over much of Scotland. Over many centuries, vast areas were cleared by human activities and pinewood regeneration was often prevented, either by grazing, muir burning or replanting with other non-native tree species. The remaining native pinewoods now vary enormously in size, structure and species composition. As a generalisation, the wetter western pinewoods are usually more open and patchy, with pine concentrated on gravelly ridges and knolls, sometimes spreading onto peaty ground where ground mosses and pockets of downy birch and sallow gain prominence. The drier eastern woods have larger swathes of pine on more even terrain, a lower proportion of open ground and fewer broadleaf trees. These characteristics are partly a reflection of climate and landform, but have also been shaped by past land management. Mosaics of tree and shrub species can occur, and in time, the different species can shift their location within a wood. There is a natural tendency for old pine to give way, where deer permit, to mix young stands of birch, pine and rowan, from which the pine will eventually outgrow the broad leaves to dominate again. Today, the native range of Scots pine is considered to be confined to the highlands. With this native pinewood zone containing all the remnants of the original pinewoods which have survived. In these woods, dense patches of mature trees are often interspersed with tracts of moorland dotted with large crowned granny pines, two to three hundred years old wide crowned veterans, often seen growing on their own, as well as hard knolls and open mires. Research has shown that the Scottish populations of native pine are quite varied genetically and are outliers of the vast Eurasian distribution of this species, which have adapted over millennia to the strong rainfall and temperature differences across the highlands. The area of native pine wood is now being expanded by planting or encouraging natural regeneration of the various tree species that together make up our native pine woods. Planting uses seed of local origin to conserve historic populations that have adapted well to their environment, helping to protect this historic forest type. The MVC type, or National Vegetation Classification, provides a common language in which the character and value of the vegetation of Britain can be understood. The MVC type recorded for pinewoods is W18, though there are five subdivisions to recognise mainly climatic variation between sites. The important thing about this forest is that it's um, very rich in biodiversity, a, a really good series of plants and animals in here. So we've, we know that the forest is dominated by Scots pine and birch, but, but also the ground flora is made up of heather, cowberry, blaeberry, and then there are iconic species living in the forest. There are species such as red squirrels and capercaillie, but also um, we have pine martins, Scottish crossbills, a, a really broad range of species. This forest is important because it, it represents the ecological series that have lived together for many, many generations, hundreds of generations, and uh, they behave and respond to each other in a unique manner. It's an ecological series in a fairly pristine condition. The survival of the whole suite of pinewood flora and fauna depends on all the elements being present in the future. Dead and dying trees, young and mature trees, dense thickets and open glades. Human influence on pinewoods began in Neolithic times and continues today. Where harvesting is carried out, the felled areas are replanted or naturally regenerated. This process provides us with valuable timber and as the young trees grow, they increase the variety of habitats in the area. 
maintaining a dynamic ecosystem and helping to retain this unique element of our rich and diverse natural heritage.